And meanwhile, district health boards say uh, emergency departments around the country relatively quiet today despite the strike. Hawke's Bay Hospital did have to call on an emergency agreement to get four extra nurses on wards today. But other DHB said they sent volunteers home because more had come to work than planned. Jim Green is the chief executive of Gisborne's Tairafiti DHB. He said the region's GPs had helped by taking some pressure off the hospital today. It's very clear that, um, that they are responding well to being able to provide care for people within the community and taking pressure off the hospital. That's very much appreciated and I'm sure for all the people that are receiving care there that's um, very reassuring for them as well because we know the importance of general practitioners and staff and, and their staff in people's lives and making sure that they are safe. So um, while I would absolutely um, say it's a major event for us uh, and you know, obviously uh, is not something uh, that we would want to have uh, and we look forward to, to getting resolution of this so we, uh, we can uh, prevent that in the future, but I do have to say that um, you know, we've had that degree of cooperation and support from the nurses and from the other members of staff to be able to get through this, this difficult time. Jim Green from Tairawhiti in Gisborne. DHB spokesperson Helen Mason told the media conference this afternoon that we'll be back at the bargaining table tomorrow with the NZNO. Whilst today our focus is very, very strongly on patient safety and staff safety, um, we do need to start to think about, um, about how we move into the future. The, um, the facilitator from the Employment Relations Authority did release, um, well, did make her recommendations.